Let's spell this out clearly. This is what the Obama team was doing before and after the election of last year. Susan Rice was President Obama's national security advisor. She asked about government surveillance of people in the Trump campaign and the Trump transition team. The names of the people who surfaced in these reports are masked, that is, kept secret. She ordered their names revealed. And then, by order of the president, that information was made available to 16 other intelligence agencies. Then came the almost inevitable leak. Sure looks like a deliberate attempt to smear Trump's team. A deliberate attempt to imply they were in cahoots with the Russians. Dirty tricks in the extreme. It's not the first time Ms. Rice has been embroiled in scandal. She went on TV to spin Benghazi as the result of a video. She knew it wasn't true. But she was defending her bosses, President Obama and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. All right, step back a moment. What would be the reaction if President Bush's national security advisor had encouraged the leak of information about the Obama team? Talk about a double standard. Same with the media. This morning, the Susan Rice allegations are not on the front page of the New York Times or the Washington Post. They were ignored by NBC and ABC. CBS defended Ms. Rice. Fascinating, isn't it, that when the revelations look bad for President Trump, you never hear the last of it. It is headline news for days on end. NBC says the Trump presidency is in crisis. Now, when the deliberate undermining of the presidency is revealed, silence. It's just not right. The second hour of Varney and Company is about to begin. I want to update the, Daily, the, the Susan Rice story. The Daily Caller is now reporting that Susan Rice ordered spy agencies to produce, quote, detailed spreadsheets involving the surveillance of President Trump's transition team. That's the Daily Caller reporting that as we speak. Left-hand side of your screen, that would be Gary Cohen and uh, Transportation Secretary uh, Elaine Chow. They're talking at the, uh, the CEO at the White House. Uh, what do we have on this so, so far? She talked about, Elaine Chow, uh, talked about spending a trillion dollars to improve this country's infrastructure over the next 10 years, saying that we all know, all Americans know, that the infrastructure in this country is, quote, just broken. Uh, she says the permitting process to get these construction projects underway as they currently stand are way too of a drag. They take eight months to get all the processing of the uh, permits. So she says that is going to change. Gary Cohn talking about upgrading the air traffic control system in this country, says it's antiquated, antiquated. We need to catch up with the rest of the world. And I think he's talking about upgrading the power grid as well. Exactly isn't he? right. Saying, and, uh, you know, I, I'm sorry, I'm laughing because yeah. I understand that didn't he mention uh, Elon Musk's idea? He did of a tunnel, is it from D.C. to New between, York City? Yes, he, Elon Musk proposing a tunnel between D.C. and New York that would, be, that would accommodate high-speed rail and be able to do that trip in one hour. You know, I poo-pooed Elon Musk, uh, but Tesla's now at a he record high of stock. Him, yeah. yeah, I do. Uh, stop it. I, well, I'm I just... not remember that one, please. <laughs> okay, uh, quick check of your money. Let's do that. The Dow Industrials are down about 20 points. We've been there most of the morning. Uh, 20,620 is where we are. Update the tech stocks. We always do this because <laughs> big deal. Mm. Uh, we've got them slightly lower this morning, except for Amazon, which is awfully close to $900 per share. Look at Panera. There's all kinds of speculation about it being sold to another company. They deny it. The stock is down now after gaining significantly yesterday. The price of oil, $50 per barrel. No impact on the stock market at all. We're at 50 and change. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. I want to get 50-54. That's where we are. It's moving up just a little bit.